it has been possible to add dimensions to sketches automatically for quite a few releases. In 2013, however, they've added a new option that allows you to only put dimensions when you actually key in a value. Previously, dimensions would always show up or never show up on your sketch entities. Now, you can toggle the system option to only put the dimension on if you type a value in the keyboard and to leave the dimension off if you don't type a value in the keyboard. This is a really great feature and it can save a lot of time and make it a lot more interesting. New also is a system option search box. So while you're in options or customize, you can actually search for commands. If you don't know the name of a command, you can just type in a word in the command option and it will help you find that easily and quickly. Also new for 2013 is the addition of sounds. So if you're completing a long render or meshing a simulation, the system can actually play a custom sound within SolidWorks when that is complete. So we're just gonna finish up our revolve here and go back into our golf club assembly. New for interference detection in 2013, are some great features as well as orientation which allows you to actually preview the view before you go there. You can now create new custom views in SolidWorks 2013 and save that directly into SolidWorks. So you can go and add that view and retrieve it in any other part or assembly. So you can save views across documents now. And this is a fun one. This is called the View Cube. Just press control spacebar and this nifty little 3D view cube comes around your part or assembly and allows you to easily navigate around your part. So you can see exactly which side and which orientation you're going to get. And this is a great feature for new users as they might not be comfortable with the middle mouse button. It's just a really cool new feature and it's a lot of fun to toy with.